So okay. this is this is what I've been looking forward to because I need to learn some stuff. Okay. okay? I really do. Like how to stack your dog or well, what you should look stack for. Stack <laughs> it, what you look for. Yep. How you train them to do that even. Okay. You know, there's that's probably starts with Which I'll show you, yeah. I with start with puppies. puppies, like imprinting and but stuff. But just just to get the dog, let's just go over the confirmation. Okay. Like just so, so people have a general idea yeah, of the, where the, the words that we hear in yep. the show ring. Okay. So this would be like in the show ring, we'd stack our dog like this for, you know, a judge to examine. So, so everything so, starts at the nose. Yeah, and, and a correct head too. So again, okay. every breed is different, but a short hair you want equal parts, you know, your top skull muzzle. You want a good muzzle because they have to be able to carry game, right? Right, right. So something that's not too snipey that, you know, can carry a goose if it needs to. You know, we're supposed to look for eye color as well too. I still kind is of all this- Is that a nose and eye thing? Is that, is there anything to the nose and eye color? Well, pigment, they're supposed to have full okay. pigment, like no, you know, white spots mm -hmm. or whatever on them, lacking pigment. You know, eye color, the darker is, is better. Then you go down to your neck. You want an appropriate length of neck. Again, right. purpose being dog needs to reach down and grab its game, right? right. Ear length you want uh, to meet here on a short hair. Mm -hmm. um, you will see some though. There's some lines that just longer have a longer, yeah, longer ear, shorter ear. I mean, it, you know, longer ear, they kind of look a little houndier. So right. he's right. got he's got a nice ear, mm -hmm. ear length. Yeah. When it comes to like depth of chest and prosternum in front. Right. I mean, that really all is supposed to do with room for the lungs, right? So it serves a purpose there. Right. You know, uh, depth of chest is supposed to be down to the elbow. Okay. And you want it to, you know, come around now, here. I noticed some like that are way deeper. Way deeper. A lot right. of the European dogs tend to be. And then you see some that have zero front whatsoever. So they're um, just Like lacking. they're just literally, we call it like a cathedral front. You could drive a truck through it, right? Wow. They're just completely yeah. lacking you know, in, in front fill. Right. Feet is a, is a huge thing on any bird dog, sporting yeah. dog. Yeah. You know, you want, you know, a nice tight foot. Short hairs have webbed feet, right. strong nails, right? Right. I mean, we do take dew claws off of, off of our dogs. Right. This is something I learned at one point, and I, I, I'm one of those people, when I go to someone's dog, yep. cause we look in the mouth a lot. Yes. As judges. Yep. So they're like, well, what's he doing? He's looking in your mouth. Yep. And I, the only two things I kind of pay attention to are teeth, cause I can pick up on yep. it. And looking down at their feet, and, if, yeah, and, feet. and that foot's supposed to have a nice high, yeah, arch. not not flattened out like a flat foot, right? Yes, correct. And yeah, like a pancake. That gives them the strength in the field For, to not yeah. be like be like a flat-footed runner compared to a person with right, a good exactly. arch yep. in their foot. And same same with their pasterns actually too. Like okay. you want some, um, you don't want them like down completely on their pasterns, but some give because when a dog is running, that's what absorbs oh. the impact actually. So the um, pastor so, would be their wrist, so to speak. Well, right? th this, this right here. Okay, that's the pastern. So we've had it actually where we've had a pointer mm -hmm. and her pasterns were super short um, and it made her like kind of toe in a little bit. But we started noticing after hunting her hard, right. she was lame the next day and could barely walk. Wow. So it definitely can impact, you know, right. them if it's, you know, not correct, I guess you could yeah. say. You'll see your dog be sore. That all has to do with structure, right? Like right. if it's a wear and tear on right. the body. Right. And the whole purpose of dog shows in the first place was to evaluate breeding stock. Right. Um, right. You know, so that they're yeah. well built and they can do their job. Right. All day. Yeah. Right. You know, so you want a shoulder. You're looking for a good layback of shoulder. So this mm -hmm. upward angle on a short hair, you want nearing a 45 degree. Can you feel it more than see it? Or well, yeah, feel feel where his the top of his shoulder blades yep. are. Yep. And then this is your return, you know, of upper arm. Okay. Yep. Upper arm. So yep. you kind of want equal lengths also. Gotcha. Which a lot of dogs tend to have a shorter upper arm. Okay. It's a thing, you know, common in, in the breed. So the longer, the better. Mm -hmm. Your top line, uh, you know, short hairs are supposed to be slightly longer than tall. Um, short back, but standing and, and over for people to understand that, yep. if you were to take, you have a measuring stick, right? The, yeah. The, in the show rings. They wouldn't, the judge would be able to do it without. They, like, just their eye, like yeah. looking looking at a dog, right? right? You wouldn't so, want to have the appearance of being a dachshund. Exactly. It's an exaggeration. Because when you have a longer back, right. you're going to have a weaker top line, uh, right? So when you yeah, got, you yeah, know, a, a yeah. moderate loin mm -hmm. and long rib cage, you know, typically a dog's going to have a stronger back. Gotcha. You know, be able to carry themselves better right. all it's day long. It's not that he has more vertebrae. He's mm -hmm. just. All dogs have the same. Same. Yeah. They should have 48 teeth yes. and whatever yeah. amount of vertebrae. Yeah. yeah. Then you get to, I guess, you know, top line, you want a nice strong back. 
Yeah. You know, that's important in a lot of breeds, I right. would say. Uh, you know, tail, how they carry it also. You'll see a lot of, I guess, field people, they want them like, well, right on the back. I like to see them, you know, up, you know, when they're pointing. Right. Um, but, you know, when a short hair is carrying it around a show ring, it should be this. About like that. Yeah. Right. You know, like just, and, and then when they're at ease, it just kind of hangs, you know. Right, right. Yeah. He's yeah. relaxed. Come here. Right. He's like, no, thanks. <laughs> Um, and then you get to your rear, which I think is, you know, it's as that's a, where I get lost when they start talking about the angles and all so, that. yeah. So this dog has a lot. So you're looking from like the bone here, this length, mm -hmm. this length, and then your, your hawk. So right. typically a shorter hawk is, you know, better because a dog that has a straighter rear, they have a higher rate of ACL tears. There's just a lot of research that goes with it. Right, too. and then I've heard that ACL chairs are genetic, but it's what the genetic part it's is. It's how they're built. It's how they're built. Yes, so exactly. it, it technically, All it is genetic. Hand. Yeah. yeah. Labradors are very and look what happened to elbows with labs years ago mm -hmm. and rear ends. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It, so it that goes back to a dog that's got great conformation. It's really got to be the start. Yes. Yeah, a well-built dog should be able to, you know, hunt all day without breaking down is the point. Right. Like a lot of dogs are going to hunt all day, but they might be sore, you know, the next day oh, or the yeah. next morning They'll because run they're out not of desire, built. Right. They're not built, you know, that, as well. Yeah. Aesthetically now for this breed, markings are just markings. They, no. are, they are, but I will say like, if you get like patches on top lines and stuff, it can kind of make it look like there's a dip sometimes. It can make it hard I mean, to judge. Yeah, so. there's some markings that are way more pleasing than others. Right, like his markings are not as pleasing. The bigger, She's got the big, she, you know, yeah, the big neck patch and stuff like and that. And then the bigger Dalmatian spots yeah. on the back. Yeah, I mean, this is fine here because it makes him look like he's got a good shoulder. This right, right, it almost, do it almost defines it. It does, like actually. Like wearing one of those so, Halloween yeah. costumes with the yeah. square chest on. So, yeah, I when mean. When people say tail set, Yes. I That's, would assume every set is the same, but it's not. It's not. I mean, you'll see dogs will say like the, a drop in croup. So your croup here, it kind of like will narrow down and then your tail is going to be coming out of here lower. Yeah. versus higher. Right? right. And you'll see that. And a lot of people don't know enough to pay attention to that. Right. So I'll see it and I'll be like, but <laughs> now on an English pointer. Yes. Different tails. It is. I mean, right? you have your show English pointers oh, yeah. where they want them right off the back like this. Right. Where those, they carry them high for the field like, trial world. Exactly. They, they want it up. Yep, they want up. it straight up standing right. up. So a higher tail for them like that is better. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, but that's, you know, you'll have variations, uh, right. you know, Brockos, I think they naturally kind of have like a rounded croup. Yeah. And a lower tail, right? Yeah, they yeah. don't carry it as high. They no. carry it kind of more, you know, down. So right. you're never going to see a 12 o'clock exactly. Brocco tail. So it has to be breed appropriate. Right. I mean, not every right. breed is going to be the same. And that's what the standard is. The standard has been written for in most breeds for hundred years. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yep. And striving for that standard. The reason it was written because the original shows were all, all hunting dogs. Just if evaluating I did my, hunting dogs. It, they were evaluation, stuff. mostly pointers and setters at, in, what's the big show called? What, what uh, Westminster? Westminster, yeah. That started with basically hunting stock. Yeah, yeah. To and show, now it's, yeah. and now it's everything yeah. from, have you ever been there? I have a lot. Have you yeah. been there? Oh to, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You've run your dogs in Westminster? Oh yeah, she's been to Westminster m multiple times. I have, yeah, actually yeah. she's been to Westminster twice. He hasn't gone yet, maybe this year. Uh, That's yeah. cool. Yeah, it's lots now, of Now, is that nerve wracking? Not really when you do it, for, because I've done it for so many right. years. Like, yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I don't the really get Maybe the first time. Yeah, I mean, maybe if I like, win the breed or the group, City. I would. Right. And you're like, this is <laughs> not home. atmosphere, right? I'm not home anymore. Exactly. Oh, that's Hi, really buddy. cool. Yeah, it's lots now, of Now, do you judge dogs also? I do not. Um, you just I, handle. Yes, that'll yeah. be something I'll do eventually. Right. Um, I think it's a little bit of a conflict of interest when you, you know, are I, breeding, showing, yeah. and judging. Right. So I eventually will do that. That will be something when I'm breeding less, I would say. Right, right. Um, so, hey. When your daughter takes over. Yes, and she will. Hey, yeah. what's up? What's <laughs> up? I was taking a nap. You interrupted me. He just chills. He's chill. What's but his he, name? Elton John, EJ. EJ? EJ. Elton John. Yes, Rocket Man. But he's confident. <laughs> All right, let's dig into some puppy stuff. Okay, that sounds yeah. good. If you've been enjoying the content you're watching, would you do tag us a favor? Please hit the like and the subscribe button. 